Hi guys, welcome back to Her Atlas. I am so excited for today's video. We are talking all about expensive fruit in Japan. But before we dive into trying some of the expensive fruit for the very first time, I'm currently at Yumi Town, which is one of my favorite grocery stores slash department stores where they sell a lot of expensive fruit. And we're gonna go check out the prices. These grapes. I've never paid this much for grapes. 1,280 yen, it's about 12 US dollars. As you can see, it's not a huge amount. Each of these watermelon slices is about four US dollars. It's about a sixth of a watermelon, which means a whole watermelon is gonna run you about 30 US dollars. These cantaloupes are about $12.50 each. That is crazy! Each of these mangoes is 980 yen, carefully wrapped twice in plastic and a soft thing. So this single mango is like $9.50. I've seen them going up for like $30, I just don't see any today, so we'll have to save that for another video. This is the luxury fruit section at Yumi Town. And it looks like it's kind of been picked through. A lot of these fruit baskets and things you would buy to gift to people, so gifting fruit, especially nice and expensive imported fruit or carefully grown fruit here in Japan, is very common to give as a gift. Um, so we've got really beautiful gift baskets for about 30 US dollars. This one's about 40 US dollars. And then these cantaloupe melons, are about 40 US dollars. Look at that ticket, Pat. Look at that ticket. About 40 US dollars for that. We're back at my house and I picked up four different kinds of expensive fruit from the grocery store. For whatever reason, I couldn't find like super, super expensive fruit other than the cantaloupe. And I, I mean, all of it's going to be expensive, but I couldn't find like true luxury fruit. So we'll try that in another video, maybe when they're more in season, I guess. But let me tell you guys what I do have. A $9 mango. These grapes were 20 US dollars. And then I also bought these grapes, which were 12 US dollars. I then went ahead and balled out because this was one of the expensive cantaloupes I could find. This was about 40 US dollars. And when I went to check out at the counter, she actually asked if it was a present or not, and they were gonna wrap it for me. I just honestly didn't have time. I should have. Before trying all of these, I just wanna mention like why fruit in Japan is so expensive. Sometimes it's because they have to import their fruit. Other times it's because their fruit is taken care of like so preciously. Um, a lot of times maybe they don't use pesticides or maybe it's a specialized fruit that they have been able to create over like, is it called like fruit genetics or something like that? There's really cool fruit like square watermelon and white strawberries. I still think that this was a really great find. So we've got about 80 US dollars worth of fruit, which is very expensive. So let's try them. Quick little commercial break because today's video is sponsored by Boksu. If it wasn't for amazing sponsors like this, there is no way I could justify spending this much money on expensive fruit in Japan. Boksu is an authentic Japanese snack box subscription service and every month they have a different theme, which means every month you're going to be getting a variety of different snacks and tea. The boxes are shipped directly from Japan. So it's a totally authentic experience and I love getting my box every month, exploring and discovering new snacks that I can find here or send to my family. I'm kind of having a hard time figuring out which snack I want to try because I have such a sweet tooth and this one is all about summer fruits. This is the Kororon Momotaro Saku Puff chocolate. It's supposed to be like a crispy wafer with peach chocolate on top. Mmm, that is delicious. It basically tastes like the inside of a Cheeto, but the outside is peach white chocolate. Make sure you guys use my code HERATLAS20 to get 20% off your very first authentic Japanese snack box with Boksu. 
Take advantage of this limited time offer. And thank you so much Boksu for sponsoring today's video. So I went ahead and washed the grapes. These are my $12 grapes. And then these are my $20 grapes. And the first thing that I noticed between the two is that the $20 grapes have a lot of more imperfections to them. They have a lot more freckling and there's even like some brown spots on them. $12 grapes are more like of an oval shape and then the more expensive are more round. So let's try the $12 hair grapes. It tastes like a candied grape. So I feel like usually grapes have a tartness to it. There's no tartness. Even the skin isn't very tart, like at all. It's a very like sweet grape, but still kind of mild. I feel like grapes are normally kind of tart, right? Maybe I'm just crazy. Let's try this $20 grape. Oh my God. I was not expecting that. Have you ever had something grape flavored? How it's just like this very robust, like forward grape, like it, it tastes artificial. That's what this $20 grape tastes like. Like if I were to eat this and you told me it was a fake grape, I would believe you. I understand now. I will also say that the skin on this grape is not as chewy, like it breaks and just disintegrates. This skin is chewier and then this one just like becomes part of the grape experience, I guess. I don't know, like, yeah. I can see why this is $20. Mm. Let's try our $8 melon. Do you see how stunning that color is? That is such a vibrant mango. Yeah, that smells pretty great. It's like the perfect ripeness, I'm sure. You can maybe see how easily I am slicing and dicing. Wow, creamy, creamy. You are so beautiful. I just need a minute. You know room temperature butter where it's just like creamy? It just melts. There's no chewing needed, like, but still has a little texture to it. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, what I'm learning in this process is that uh, the expensive fruit is quite worth the price tag. So what I think we're all here and waiting for is this $40 cantaloupe. Now I personally don't care for cantaloupe when it's at the hotel in the fruit section, the fruit bar. I normally skip it. Is it cantaloupe or melon? Is it melon? Well, that's juicy. I can already smell the fragrance right now. Look at how beautiful that is. I cannot believe this is $40. Wow, that's really soft. Buttery to cut into, and I don't know about y'all, but I never met a melon that was soft. Never in my life. Or cantaloupe. They're always like hard, you know? The smell is very, very, very fragrant. So that excites me. This better be $40. I don't even know if I've ever spent like $40 on a steak once. Like this is the same price as a steak, like a nice steak. Okay. 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 Okay, you win. Do you see how juicy that is? The texture of it reminds me of like a mango, like just a very soft, creamy fruit. Would I pay $40 for this again? Yeah. I would. It's like I'm drinking and eating the fruit at the same time. Like, my whole cutting board is soaking wet. 
Okay, here's my verdict on expensive fruit. I think that if you can justify doing it once just to try it, it's totally worth the experience. I have spent more money on things that I have enjoyed so much less than this cantaloupe or melon. I think it's worth it. If you find yourself in Japan or in another Asian country or just another country in general and they sell like luxury fruit, I don't know that I would spend like $100 on a melon, but to splurge and spend $40 on that is, I think it was worth it. 100%, I think it was worth it. I think it'd be really fun to do and share with like friends. Like, look at this, I can peel. Can you say that? I can peel the skin off of it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, me trying quasi expensive fruit here in Japan. If you guys have any suggestions or questions or things you wanna see me try next, leave it in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And um, yeah, check me out on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.